Welcome to this lesson video. Today we'll be looking at determinants. We will be looking at 2 by 2 matrix and also 3 by 3 matrix. Let us start. This is what we call a 2 by 2 matrix. Why do we say it's a 2 by 2? You can see that we have two elements on the row and also two elements on the column so that's why we say it's a two by two matrix how do we determine the determinant of a two by two matrix we have different methods on how to determine the determinant we have the cofactor using the jth row and also cofactor expansion using the kth column now today we are just going to look at the basic method of how to calculate the determinant. Suppose we label this matrix as matrix A. Now what is the determinant of matrix A? It's simple. Matrix A, we are simply going to take the product of the diagonal elements minus the second diagonal element what do i mean this multiply by this minus this multiply by this so we have a multiplied by d minus c multiplied by b and then this will give us our determinant now let's say we have a matrix whereby we have defined elements like 3, 2, 4, 5. What is the determinant of this matrix? The determinant of this matrix it will be 3 multiplied by 5 minus 4 multiplied by 2 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 minus 4 multiplied by 2 it's 8 and then the determinant of this matrix is 7 Pause the video, go ahead and find the determinant of this matrix and then play the video to verify your answer. Now the determinant of this matrix is equals to 1 multiplied by 1 minus, no it's actually 1 multiplied by negative 1 minus 1 multiplied by 1. Negative 1, negative 1, so the determinant is negative 2. Go ahead and determine the determinant of this matrix. Now the determinant of this matrix is equals to 4 multiplied by negative 2 minus 1 multiplied by negative 3. We have negative 8, positive 3. So our determinant is negative 5. Now that is how we calculate the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now let us look at a 3 by 3 matrix. 3 by 3 matrix. Let's say we have this matrix A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. The determinant of this matrix is defined by A, E, I plus B, F, G plus C, 
dh minus 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 a f h actually inside the brackets plus no plus b d i plus c e g now when we remove the brackets we have minus a f h minus b d i minus c e g this is how we calculate our determinant i know now it's a bit challenging it doesn't make sense but then the concept is the same as a two by two matrix now if you can see this one it's this diagonal now the challenge it's this one you cannot see the diagonal somehow let me use a different color you can see that we have B F but then from here we jump straight to G also this one we have C D H now how do we how do we actually identify these diagonals? It's just a trick. Now basically what is happening here? You can see that this is our 3 by 3 matrix. Look at the first two columns. It's A, D, G, B, E, H. What you do, you simply write A, B, D, E, G, H. Just imagine that the two first columns, they extend this 3 by 3 matrix. Now look at the diagonals. We have A, E, I. We have B, F, G. We have C, D, H. Can you see that? It's this minus. Actually, let me use a different color. Look at this. A, F, H. Or you can say H, H, F, A. Actually, the diagonals. This diagonals. Minus this diagonals I D B Can you see that? So we have this diagonals the sum of the product of this diagonals minus this diagonals that is the concept behind the 3 by 3 matrix. Now let us look at a matrix with uh, elements containing numbers. So this is example number one. We are looking for the determinant. So what I'm going to do, I'll just create an imaginary extension of this matrix using the first columns the first two columns now my determinant will be defined by three one zero so i have three one zero plus five four six so I have five, four, six, 
four, six, plus. Two, negative two and three. So I have two, negative two and three. This are um, this are the first diagonals. This minus my second diagonals. Six, one, two. So I have six, one. 2 minus negative 3 4 negative 3 4 3 then the last one I have 0 2 5 minus 0 2 5 now from here I can simplify 3 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 0 it's 0 <coughs> 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 6 is positive 120 2 multiplied by negative 2 it's negative 4 negative 4 Multiplied by 3, it's negative 12. Minus 6 multiplied by 1, it's 6. Multiplied by 2, it's 12. Negative 3 multiplied, negative 3 multiplied by 4, it's negative 12. Multiply by 3, it's negative 36. Negative 36 multiplied by this negative is positive 36. And then the last one, 0 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5, it's simply 0. One twenty minus 12, it's 108. 108 minus 12 again, it's 96. 96 plus 36 it's 132 so this is our determinant let us look at the last example you can pause the video try to work out the determinant of this matrix so the determinant 0 1 actually negative 1 negative 3 4 3 5 so I have the first column is this one. So I have zero multiplied by three multiplied by two plus the second one is this one. I have four negative two negative three. Plus, the third one is this one. I have 1, negative 1, and 5. So I'm done with my first diagonals. Minus. First one is this one. Negative 3, 3, and 1. Minus. I have this one. It's 5, negative 2, and 0. Then my last one is this one. It's minus 2, negative 1, and 4. First one, 0 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 is 0. Plus 4 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 it's positive 24 1 multiplied by negative 1 it's negative 1 multiplied by 5 it's negative 5 negative 3 multiplied by 3 it's negative 9 multiplied by 1 it's negative 9 multiplied by 
negative 1 is positive 9. 5 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by 0 is simply 0. The last one, 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2 multiplied by 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 multiplied by negative 1 is positive 8. Twenty four minus five is nineteen. Nineteen plus nine is twenty eight. Twenty eight plus eight is actually thirty six. This is our determinant. That's it for this lesson video. I hope it is helpful. This is Pahula SJ. Thank you very much.